Alright, what up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Jeannie, and you already know what it is. So, let's just get into the energy. Let's see what's going on for you today. I appreciate anybody who comes to my channel and shows me love in any type of way. I love you back. Alright, well, let's get into the energy, Virgo. Okay, because there could be some type of uh, confusion, okay? Um, around some type of payout or some type of money here. And I feel like things are in order for something, okay? This only works in order if you t submit to some type of secret. Inspirational. Okay, so uh, my message is going to be for the elite, all right? This message is going to be for... Um, people who know what I'm talking about. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, this message is probably not for you, okay? So hit me in the next one. Peace out. All right, I had to give a delay for those motherfuckers who like to stay. Um, but let's get into the energy, Virgo. So there could be some type of confusion about some money, something like that. Something that may be seen like it's blocking your blessings some weird energy right but the only way this can happen is if you submit order and submission the only way something can block your blessings someone or something could be a pisces okay heavy on the pisces leo energy yeah this could be a family member too mm -hmm. anyways with this energy virgo there's some type of secret here. It's like fine print energy. It's like hidden occult energy. And the only way it works is if you give consent, if you submit to something, okay? And how they get you to submit to something is if they keep it a secret. If they keep it a secret. This is giving me the energy of uh, you don't know you did it, but you did it, okay? So because you did it, you get to give your blessings away um to other people it's like that type of energy but then we have inspiration and drama and riches here so uh this was allowed to happen okay to inspire some type of drama that will get rid of whatever this is see this is giving me the energy of like a generational curse that you were born under you had no idea you were under that generational curse, but because it was a secret, you submitted to it. And spirit allowed this to happen um, to cause enough drama for you to figure out what it is. Uncover the secret here. We have drama and riches and publicity until something came to your vision, until you could see who you're fighting with, quarrel and power. And once you're able to see who you're fighting with, this is what well, this is where you gain your power. Okay where you gain your power back here okay you could be fighting with a pisces or a cancer okay leo heavy capricorn heavy pisces heavy heavy scorpio heavy and aquarius here back to capricorn energy we have independence organization and risk virgo independently you can organize everything that you need okay to fight something we have risk idealism and fortune Okay, so you have to you have to go against some type of idealism. This is all idea. This is all a curse. It's all some type of stupid secret. You feel me? This is all some type of weirdo fine print drama. All right, and there's a way to bind up any confusion. There's a way to bind up any strong man. There's a way to bind up any fool, any deity that thinks that they have power. Any false prophet that that thinks they have control. Let me let me give it to you in another way. This is like being in a video game and not knowing that you're in a video game. And you're just playing the video game, wondering why you can't win a certain level because it was made to not win. It was made for you to try hard enough until you look for the secret hidden things in order to win that level. And here we are. We're at a spiritual level in which you are now fighting bigger spiritual battles, battles and bigger spiritual things that go along with your lineage and your generation in like a video game uh it's like a video game scenario dude. 
Okay, and you must uncover the secrets in order to get paid. Like, let's get into the energy. I'm just going to sound crazier the more I try to explain this shit. But you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't know, move around. You feel me? It's that easy. It's that easy. Let's get it. What's going on as above for Virgo? What's going on as above for Virgo? Huh. We got stubborn, uncompromising, stability, durability, riches, and wealth. That's that energy. Okay, so spiritually at this time, spirit is renewing in you a stubborn spirit, an uncompromising spirit who is willing to do whatever it takes to get the durability, the wealth, the health, the strength, the stability, and everything that was meant for you in this lifetime. Okay, spirit is giving you that energy. They're giving you the energy to fight against something, and it may be slow moving, okay, but the more... You express your affection, the more you bind up these spirits every day, five, 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 the more you fight against the strongholds and, and the enemy and your oppressors, you feel me? The more faster it goes, okay? But it all happens through some type of expression, all right? So spirit is needing you to open your mouth, okay? Use your authority and your power to command Okay, and demand and bind up any contrary spirit who is oppressing you and your destiny. If you don't know Christianity, this may seem weird to you. Okay, but any Christian can read the things that I am saying in the Bible. Okay, go hit up Psalms. Okay, and you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, like I said, go exit this video. But this is what's happening up above. Okay, you're being guided. You're being guided. You're being shown. You're being led. Okay, you're giving you're being given information about the spiritual in the spiritual realm, what's going on up above. They're giving you evidence so that you can be uncompromising, so that you can continue to move forward, and so they can give you the keys and the book business and the tools that you need, okay, to get rid of this make believe shit, this fairy tale magician shit that, that you have uh, entered into in the realm of sacrifice. Okay, but as a child of God, you have the authority. We all know that, right? This is what spirit is showing you up above. Okay, so they're renewing a spirit inside of you to be more uh, stubborn about your blessings, to be more stubborn about binding up contrary oppressors, to be more stubborn about getting the, cool, the keys and tools and the things that you need to gain what you have sown in this lifetime. And the things that have been taken from you, Capricorn energy, the things that have been taken to you, from you as well. Look, the oppressors, <laughs> and we have guarded and ancestors. So this, like I said, could have been an ancestral curse, could have been something uh, you were born into, generational curse. I could be simply talking about the motherfucking matrix. Okay, uh, the government. I could be talking about how they like to oppress us and make it hard for us to gain knowledge, tools, whatever, to live and survive in this world. You know what I'm talking about, though. This is a spiritual warfare here. Okay, this is a spiritual warfare. Whether that's spiritual or physical for you, spiritually, you're being given the tools and the things that you need to be uncompromising towards your oppressors. Who are they going to oppress? Who, who are they going to oppress when God is for you? You feel me? Who is the devil going to do anything when you're, how is the devil going to do anything when you're guarded and protected by God? This is that spiritual fight that I'm talking about. And in order to really have the authority to say those things, you have to be uncompromising. You have to do it continuously. You feel me? And this is what spirit is giving you, giving you the energy, giving you the tools, giving you the know-how, giving you the business, giving you everything that you need. In order to do so, you just got to ask. Okay, what's going on up above for Virgo with this giving tree? Uh, something about uh, the generational roots as well. Something that you were rooted into. Uh, something about... Uh, uh, Ed Edward Scissorhands, <laughs> uh, Leo energy. They just said Edward Scissorhands. Okay, I'm going with it. Leo energy here. Leo energy twice. Five five. Somebody could definitely be a Leo or a Taurus here. 
okay whoever this person is uh they have a whole bunch of ego they they're very egotistical about the things that they have gotten but the things that they have gotten has been stolen from others okay heavy on the leo taurus energy here uh, male and feminine showing up what's going on as above here for virgo please spiritually what's going on for virgo here as above mm. Huh. Okay, we have Aquarius and Gemini energy, 11 and 3 now, Sagittarius enthusiasm. We have rebellion, rebel, 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 rebel. Okay, heavy on the rebellion, uh, Lauren Hill energy. The song just started playing as soon as I said it, Virgo. You're rebelling against the people, the places, the things, you feel me, that want to oppress you. Okay. This is the energy, spiritually, a spiritual rebellion here. You're going to be uncompromising with what you want and the things that have been given to you. Concentration. Spirit says to rebel against this, you have to give a lot of concentration to breaking it, to binding it up. There's something about Charlotte's Web. Okay? There's something here about um, something getting caught in a web web of concentration there's something here about giving your power away if you concentrate on it okay uh so this is giving me the energy this is giving me the energy of something given against you uh oops. something given to you and then something happens right after that you lose everything given to you and this is rebellion against the program of losing the things that god has given you because they're always yours you feel me Also, Virgo, uh, as soon as you start binding up the, the people, places, and things that are rebelling against you, as soon as you start binding up your opposition, they will come into your concentration. They will make themselves be seen via way of the mouth, okay? They will pop up. There's something about the, uh, the green-eyed monster, somebody very envious, jealous, cringe energy. Whoever this is, Virgo, once you start binding them up, they will start to rebel, and this is how you're going to know who it is. So pay attention. Okay, let's play concentration. Okay, no repeats or hesitation. I go first if you go last. Category is anything. Okay, so there could be somebody who comes to you, who talks to you about anything, right? But this person is going to initiate something with you. They're going to play a game with you. Okay, and whoever loses concentration first, whoever wins. So you have to bind up this energy for a certain amount of time without breaking concentration. This is giving me the pray without ceasing until your enemy gives in. And spirit is giving you the energy to do so, to rebel, to fight whatever is fighting you because you are stronger than it. But if you lose concentration, Okay, if you uh, fall back asleep, if you uh, stop rebelling against it, because it takes time, okay, expressing this over a, oh shit, it takes time, and then it will, they will come up, I'm telling you, so it takes time over a certain period of time, this could be weeks to a month, okay, of fasting and praying without ceasing against your oppressors, and as soon as you do, Virgo, you express this affection, your enemies will unmask themselves, they will pop up. I'm telling you, they will play the game with you. Initiation, okay? With the light bulb idea and finances and final warning energy, we have Scorpion. These people will pop up and try to give you something, okay? They'll try to offer themselves to you to get you to pray to it. That's how they got all the strong men before you. Listen, hear me out. Once you start oppressing your oppressors, Okay, giving your full concentration into binding them up and getting rid of them. Okay, it's all you need to do is speak it. Okay, once you start doing this, they're going to come up to you. They're going to, you want to play a game. Okay, and the game is that I can give you the blessings. I can keep, you can be the not, new strong man. You can be the new whatever. And this is how this enemy has continued on in your generation because there be one person who rebel against it but then they hop into another family member or 1444 
1444, they hop into another family member or they get somebody else who is weak enough to take whatever whatever financial temptation that the devil gives right before the final warning. They try to do it, and this is why you need control. And if you have control, you can bind up the spirit. We have divine masculine and fluid and lips into lips, okay? So there's a divine masculine who needs to start speaking things, okay? Or there is a masculine here who will be binded up just by you speaking things over them. There's that Leo energy. Control and you shall cut out the enemy. This is the control. This is what you're needing. This is the answer. This is what God has given me. And as an obedient child, I'm giving this to you. There is a strong man. Okay, there's a foundation to the enemy. There's a generational curse. There's a deity. Whatever the whatever illusion the matrix may have constructed to to put together some type of uh, uh, situation, and whether you, so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, whether that's a strong man for you, whether that's the oppressor of the matrix. You feel me? Whether that's the government for you, whether that's your friends and family getting in your way. You know what I'm talking about. There is something oppressing your blessings. Okay, and to fight the oppressors, all you have to do is pray. Pray without ceasing for a certain amount of time and is going to do everything and the spirit's going to throw everything. Okay. Your oppressors are going to throw everything in your way to blind you, to stop you, to get your concentration, to make you give in, to tempt you, to try to get you not to keep binding these contrary spirits. But all you have to do is keep binding them. All you have to do is keep speaking it, keep speaking, okay? Uh, keep speaking against your oppressors. Keep binding them uh, with the energy of your tongue, your language. That is your authority. You don't need to do anything else. But stay concentrated. And once you achieve this for a certain amount of time, the enemy has no other choice but to flee. Okay, but who will give in first? Who will give in first? Are you going to uh, are you going to be uncompromising to the things that you want and take a couple months out of your life to do nothing but worship, bind every contrary spirit, every contrary whatever? Are you going to take that time out for your own good to bind your oppressors by speaking a language, meditating, praying, and getting right inside of yourself? Or are you going to give your concentration to TV, to bullshit, to your best friends, to sex, to lust, to things that ruin your vibration that, that is giving you the authority to pray against these demons? Okay, it's all about the concentration. What are you concentrating on? What are you giving your most concentration to at this time? Why can't you take a, a week or a month off and just concentrate on your oppressors, G? How they concentrate, concentrate on you 24-7? Why don't you concentrate on them and binding them and getting rid of all the distractions that is keeping you from getting the tools, the business, and, and, and the products that you need to create your wealth and your blessings. That's what you need to be focused on in Virgo season. Fuck a birthday. Fuck a party. Fuck looking good. Fuck a relationship. If the person you're with isn't isn't with you on uh, binding up this, these oppressors, then they are an oppressor on God. Anything that is distracting you from binding up your oppressors is an oppressor. This is where we're at in spiritual warfare right now. And if you want to continue living in this mode of existence, giving your blessings away to these dumbass idiots, you can ignore my video and give your concentration to other things. But if you're here and alive and awoke today and you understand what I'm saying is not going way over your head. Then let's continue on to the next part. 1919. How is this energy flowing down as below for Virgo? How is this energy flowing down below for Virgo?
I'm in love with this feeling. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love with the spirit of God. Shit. Yeah, I don't know about y'all, but God love me. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but God love me. Because little old me, why you have to give me the answers? I don't know. But here we are. Look, we got lock, legacy, and breakthrough, G. I'm telling you, there's a strong man, a generational strong man, putting blocks and locks and boundaries on your generation, on your family, on your legacy, on your blessings, on your growth in your life. Mm -hmm. And these are the answers to get that breakthrough, to cut out that injustice. Yeah. Y'all really wanted to call me crazy in this video, didn't you? The contrary spirit inside of you didn't want to accept the program that I'm speaking to you in, didn't it? Mm -hmm. It's okay. Y'all can call me crazy. I don't care. I don't care because, because there's going to be at least one person who's going to unlock, unlock all the blessings of their generation, unlock all their legacy, unlock the growth and potential that God wants them to have in this lifetime. And I know it's going to be because they watch my motherfucking video. So shout out to you because God loved me enough to make this video for you because he loved you too. And I love you too. And I really hope we all collectively get rid of every oppressor. You feel me every little weak bitch <laughs> to think they got any authority over us in this lifetime. <laughs> Look at the enemy. Look at the enemy. Look at the enemy. And the enemy could be in your family. Anyways, as below, the angels are showing up. <laughs> as below, the angels been waiting to break these strongholds. As below, the angels have been waiting for a generation who is ready to, to wage in spiritual warfare at this magnitude to break everybody in their family and everybody in their generation free, G. As below, the angels have been waiting and gathering and giving you signs and synchronicities, two, two, two. <laughs> on what to do, Virgo, because you are going to be the one. And if you're not the one, kick off this video, for real. You put any negativity in this video, I know you're the strong man. We all go collectively rebuke you. But if you are the one, Virgo, you've been getting signs and synchronicities from the angels in every single way possible. They are not about to let any dumb bitch Get the blessings that are meant for you in this lifetime. The angels are here. They're coming down below to fight this battle with you because what did I say? The battle is not yours to fight. All you have to do is speak, baby. Sheesh. All you have to do is speak. And the, and the enemies going to have to chill. They're going to have to abide by, abide, by, abide by the boundaries. I couldn't even say that shit. All you have to do is speak and the enemy has to abide upon the boundaries. Gee. Look at them interfering on your peaceful life. And then you communicating to the angels that it's short-lived, that that season is over, that you were the one, you were the unique one in your generation that was strong enough, that had a, a, a good enough bond with the Lord, thy God Almighty, to anchor in and bound anything in Jesus' name. And when you do that shit, all the pressure is taken off of you. When you bind things and give it to God, you're no longer fighting it. It's not even your fight, G. But you are able to do this because you have a strong bond with God. And all you have to do, well, look, a battle is unfolding. Get out of here. <laughs> I told you we made your spiritual warfare. 
All you got to do is do it for a certain amount of time and unlock all your blessings and abundance that the enemy thought that they were going to take from you. And what's crazy, Virgo, is because you're the one in the generation to do it. You're the one who's going to get the all of the blessings from all the generations previously that has missed out on the abundance that they were supposed to live in in their time that was stolen from you, Virgo. This is why the, the attack and the war is so heavy. This is why they want to break your concentration and get you to think about it and, and stay focused on dumb shit. This is why they put you in a matrix so you can figure out anything and not tell you anything so it'd be hard for you to wage war, for you to concentrate for a period of time to fight against the enemy, to unleash your blessings. They're making it real hard for you to even concentrate on a prayer, for you to even concentrate on rebellion everywhere you go. The enemy wants to kill your enthusiasm everywhere you go. They want to beat you down because they know all you have to do is speak it for a certain amount of time. And they have to Die and release your blessings. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Holy Spirit just took over. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know where we at in the reading. <laughs> Speak to us, Lord. What's going on with the feather energy down below? So below on earth. What's going on with the angels? What's going on with the angels, G? Uh, heavy on the Gemini energy. Heavy Gemini. Isolation. Want to put you in isolation. There's a Gemini out here. Okay, there, there's a Gemini. Rebel against isolation. Hmm. Mm. Flattery, isolation, choice, assertion, manipulation, domination, companionship, escape, indecision, affair, impulsiveness, birth, devotion, vision, quarrel. Sheesh. All right, I'm going to say this real quick because what the fuck? Okay. They just said, they just laid some crazy shit on me. They were talking about uh, the creation of children that anchor you to the matrix that distract you from the real spiritual war because then we're we're fighting to survive and take care of our kids instead of focusing on the real thing that this world and everything in it is fake um but you know i was gonna go over everybody's head too um <clears throat> but i said it because it popped up uh what's going on here with uh <laughs> uh down below Empathy. They also said they want us to keep giving birth. And then we have fortune here. They want us to keep giving birth to more generations that keep giving to this strong man of the oppressor. The oppressor is running off of us. And we birth more babies into oppression for the oppressor to then oppress upon. And this is that energy that we continue on. But if we realize what's going on, you feel me? We wouldn't be giving birth, having children, creating families, doing any of that. You feel me? Oof, I lost it. Y'all know what I'm talking about though. Okay. They're they're okay. <laughs> uh yeah, we're just all, we're all sheep and cattle, okay? This is all a big ant farm, all right? We have empathy to, yeah, the angels are empathetic. They see us down here. <laughs> they see us down here, okay, suffering from the oppressors. And the, the angels are also empathetic, and they're going to tell you what you need. They're going to give you the answers in order to gain your fortune in this lifetime and to be able to defend 
against whatever this is. Health, practicality, and control here. We have Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Capricorn, Aquarius. Pisces again, heavy on the Pisces. Heavy on Pisces, Gemini, Leo, showing up over and over again. Um, but yeah, the angels are here. They're empathetic to your plight. They're empathetic to the humans. Oh, now they're talking about familiars. Yeah, there's definitely a familiar in your family. Okay. They go and tell people. This could be a loyal dog to you. You go tell people about what's going on. And this is somebody who hears about your blessings and then they swallow them up. This is also giving me the energy of uh, you hearing about something from your loyal angels, okay, about these people in order to defend yourself, okay? We have health and practicality. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> What's going on here? Feather and empathy down below for Virgo. <laughs> we have open door. We have change, expect change, divine masculine, divine feminine energy, balance. I told you, a fucking familiar. I just said that. This could come in the form of a bird. Okay, or I heard Beethoven, a big dog. Also something about Beethoven music. Um, good or evil here. Look, and we have put together celibate upper hand. Oof. Okay, there's something here about um sacral chakra energy. I'm getting a whole lot of open sacral chakra energy. Um. Balancing that out, closing your sacral chakra, sealing off some type of sacral chakra energy. This is giving me like energy harvesting. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, then we have familiar good or evil here. Devil on your shoulder, and then is that bird on the shoulder of the ear? Yeah. So there's some type of familiar who's listening to you. They listen. They're close by. Whatever this is. Okay. You have the upper hand. Ignorance is bliss. It had the upper hand when you were ignorant to it. Okay? And when it was harvesting up your blessings. But then spirit got your concentration. And you started questioning. Okay? And this is when you got another chance to bring in some type of justice. Karma. You have the spiritual ancestors uh, full of audience. Okay? They're watching you, and they want you to know that this maze, this matrix, these lies, these people, these oppressors, they're make-believe. And they're giving you evidence about uh, how they took something, okay, by allowing, by choosing to isolate yourself. Open door, spotlight, passed on ritual, by choosing to isolate yourself. We saw that isolation energy again. Open door to this ritual. But your ancestors are here to bring peace. Okay, magic jail. So they're going to teach you how to... Uh... <laughs> I know that sounded crazy, but they're going to teach you how to uh, realize what the, the dream state, the jail, the hiccup is. They're going to teach you how to realize and overcome something. You feel me? Um, but they had to make you see it first, so they allowed it to happen. All right? They want you to know that they're empathetic to your plight, but in order for you to change the plight, you have to experience the plight in order for you to wake up. So spirit put you on earth. You feel me? I, I wanted to really know why ooh, like this would happen why they would do all of this, why they would allow all of this. And it's because what they say is that there had to be one who was strong enough, you feel me, who was healthy enough, who who seen enough, who got sick 
enough to wage war and that was you okay so spirit is empathetic to you wanting some type of change because you've been waging war spiritually you've been calling for change and your ancestors are here answering the question uh they're trying to show you that something some type of confusion was because you may have thought something was fake like spiritual warfare you may think that what all i'm saying is fake you may think that uh uh, the matrix doesn't exist and that we're all just 3d humans and so you submitted to the program okay and if you submit to the program and you're still confused on the things that i'm saying why are you still on this video i don't know go ahead and click it off and, you know dust your shoulders off and go back to being a bot in the matrix but if you understand what i'm saying and you realize that hold on none of this shit makes sense and you want to change and you want to be and step into the authority and create your own matrix where you can live in your blessings, have everything you want. You feel me? This is how you do it. Okay. This is how you do it. You open up the energy to change and allow your ancestors and your guides and your angels to lead you through it. Okay. And I'm telling you, all you have to do is speak it and construct it, create that vibration for you, yourself, and your energy. Okay, and watch it change for you. And I know that may sound crazy too. <laughs> but you only have to do it for a period of time. This is like creating your own mental program. You have to be open to creating a different mental program. If you believe that you have no authority, you can't do anything but be a 3D human. Okay, believe that. But if you believe you have power and the authority to create your own heaven, to create your own matrix, to create your own thing, all you have to do is bind up the contrary thoughts for a certain amount of time so you could create new ones. Okay, don't let it go over your head. Real simple, real simple, real easy energy. You just have to come to agreement with everything in your body. All right, what's open door energy? What's open door energy? The seven of pentacles, the four of wands, the ten of wands, the star. Mm -hmm. This is that open door to your foundation. Oof, oof, Lord, stop. Oh, Lord. I didn't know we were going to church today. Mm, mm, mm. So down below seven of pentacles, this is this is uh, where the enemy has uh, created a foothold, and just like there has been a, a created foothold, <coughs> think of this. <coughs> think of this as a collection of thought. Okay, let me slow it down for you. Let me switch it up for you, so I don't sound as crazy. Think of this as a collection of thought. You have created a program in your mind, a collective thought. that You have to toil and work hard and labor and wait and watch for your blessings for the wrongs. Wait and watch for your uh, relaxation. Wait and put in a bunch of work and slavery to the government before you can ever house a house. This is that energy. This is the mental program that you have aligned yourself with that you are open to. Therefore, submitting under Ten of Wands is making shit a whole lot harder. Okay? And this is happening spiritually, mentally, and physically, but we're, we're slowing it down. We're, we're talking about the physical realm. We're trying to say it in ways. I don't know why we're saying we. I'm trying to say it in a way that um, will make more sense to the people watching this video. You have invested in things in the program you've invested into things and you're waiting and watching for your relaxation this is what needs to change because it's hindering the relaxation it's hindering your foundation by planting seeds of the of the world expecting blessings right <clears throat> uh the star card so the angels are here to inspire you and guide you to a new mode of existence 
okay? Because they've set up this mode of existence that you have to toil and labor, that you have to put in work, that you have to be in debt, that you have to do all these things in order to relax, in order to have a nice home, in order to blah, 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 blah. And this is what's creating that burden. But Spirit is wanting to guide you to a new mode of existence. I don't know why I repeated that, but here we are. Two of swords and you don't see the way. You don't see the way. And this is what it's programmed to do. This is what it's programmed to do, to make it so it's hard for you to see the way so that you can't escape, so that we continue to give away our blessings and our life force to these things because it's easier than rebelling. It's easier to just give away uh, and be a 3D human and go towards all the social norms and the social constructs of this world is really easy to fall into that because it's harder to rebel because you see no way to rebel. Two of swords. The empress in the reverse. The seven of cups in the reverse. The knight of cups. The king of wands. The empress in the reverse talks about household problems. It talks about the lack of time and the money. It talks about even an older woman, okay? The empress in the reverse talks about um, something not being fruitful, someone not being fruitful and not having the confidence, okay? This is because you may not have been giving time to your creative projects until now. This is giving me the energy that you had been doing things that was stealing away your concentration until until putting. Oh Lord Jesus, let me slow it down. You you don't see a way to get out of the matrix because you spent so much time giving away your concentration to things that aren't serving you. The seven of cups in the reverse, but you are not confused anymore. You know which way to go. But this is also giving me the energy of God allowing this to happen to make you get closer to him. It all comes full circle back to God because once you start putting your concentration back on God, you see through illusions, you see through these things you get, you gain clarity about how to walk in this earth, how to be in this earth, how to live in the matrix and still win. But when they get you to sow seeds in the matrix, in the world and in the paths and in the things that you think you need in order to win in this life, you will be trapped to the program. G. And this is why you didn't know how to get out of it. Because the household problems, because you have to go to work to pay your bills, because you have to deal with blah, 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 blah. Knight of Cups. <clears throat> the Ace Pin Crossing. What's the Knight of Cups, the Ace Pin Crossing, and the Moon card, G? Ten of Swords. This is giving me the energy of now you know what way to go, but the way to go conflicts with money and success. With money and success, entrepreneurships, uh, associations, the social construct, the social norms, moon card, and it got you worried and it's got you doubting, okay, about the sudden endings that will cause by following the Lord and not the world. Because God don't give a fuck about your job. God don't give a fuck about your job. He don't give a fuck how much money you make. He don't care if you really wanted that job. He don't care if you thought that that was your end all be all. He don't care if you thought you were supposed to live in this matrix and live in a job because you went to school for that job and now you're just trying to survive in that job but because the world told you to do it. He don't give a fuck about none of that. And he will take things from you. Take your money from you, 
take your job from you, take your house from you, take your foundation from you. Also, you come back to God, give your concentration back to God because everything of this world is dead. So why you fear losing shit? Why you fear losing shit? Why would you fear it ending when you know you can't take anything on this earth with you? And that goes back to the program that I was speaking on. In the beginning, we're all born into this. Every generation, we're just born into this program to live like bots. And, and to live like bots is to suffer in this bot world. But we don't even know that we're bots. We didn't even open up to the, to the thought of changing direction and going against what the world told you to do because there's a lot of doubt and fear about not having money, not looking good, not following whatever, uh, losing everything, losing relationships, losing people, sounding crazy. And this is what's breaking your concentration off the tools and the keys that you need to succeed in this lifetime and rebel against the matrix. Ace of Swords. Mm. And that's the truth. Not a wand. <clears throat> so... Up above, spiritually, I don't pull tarot cards for up above because <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a contradiction. You, we all know what the Bible says about tarot cards, but I pulled oracle cards for up above. And up above, spirit is giving you the tools and the energy that you need to rebel against the enemy and the oppressor of your destiny and everything that you have in this lifetime that has been oppressing you and every generation before you. But all it has to do is get your concentration. All it has to do is keep you concentrated on the world and the things inside the world to confuse you and to make you give away your blessings every single day. So spirit again is renewing a spirit inside of you, a mind inside of you, an energy inside of you so that you can rebel against the things that want your concentration. You can rebel against the programs that you were placed in and born under in this world and in this video game so then you can see the way see the way and not listen to the old ugly bitches that want to confuse you into going and following their footsteps that led them nowhere to a swords the empress in the reverse and the seven of cups these could be your family members your mothers and fathers and brothers and cousins who tell you to go down certain paths that they have been down that led them nowhere continuing the cycle and this is you not confused because you see where it's led everybody else. You're a hermit. You've studied, you have analyzed. And from your analytics, you realize that the only good way forward conflicts with, with everything that everybody wants. Moon card, but you know, Ace of Swords, that it will lead you to the breakthrough that you need in this lifetime. And the angels are giving you signs. God's giving you signs telling you where to go and what you do, and you're thinking about it. And you're thinking about the losses and the things that are accumulating, the, all the things that you lost in the past to the oppressors, to the bitches who think they're stronger than us, that think they're smarter than us, and they ain't even full humans. <laughs> Let me shut up. Let me shut up. And you, you sit there and you think back on every blessing that was stolen from you in the past. And it makes you strong enough to stand the fuck up, take action, and figure out what you need to end. End this matrix. End the devil swallowing up your blessings. The lovers in the reverse. You choose to not be connected. Four of cups. You choose to reject. The system, will of fortune, you choose to rebel. <laughs> Sheesh. So I hope that every single one of you choose to rebel today. I pray that every single one of you get with God, get close to God like he's been yearning for you to do. I pray every single one of you hear and see the angels and the signs around you, leading you and guiding you out of poverty and oppression. And I hope we all make it to the motherfucking other side, sincerely. 
all right and i hope that every single one of you who want to get on my video and alienate the things that i say and call me crazy i hope that the spirit convicts you and your soul until you see correctly as well i pray that the enemy that is deluding your mind to make you think the things that you do will dissolve and i pray that you clear, see clearly as well <clears throat> This is the energy that I have for you, Virgo. Choose rebellion. Peace.